It's the Memphis Sports Network. WMC Memphis, WMFS HD2 Bartlett Memphis. WMFS FM and HD1 Bartlett. WMFS Memphis. ESPN 790 AM and 92.9 FM ESPN. Watch the sun rise, new days dawning, and it's calling you and me. Where the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee. We've got woodlands, fields, and water. Hey, there is no better way. You can find. Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. And uh, we've had some technical difficulties so far. Um, and poor Stuart settles he's he's unsettled over there right now but he's been doing the great job of pushing the buttons and trying to get uh, after two segments with ron wong i'm not sure there's what's left in me here but uh frank barton is still awake because they've all been laughing at me here frank barton good morning frank it's a good thing it's just not tv it's oh, it, oh it'd be great <laughs> and, and and of course frank is from the barton power sports west memphis jonesboro forest city and now on mount moriah in east memphis one of our show sponsors, and of course, over there from Avery Outdoors is our good friend John Gordon. Good morning, John. Good morning, Larry. Okay, now you guys got to help me on this because this is a little waterfowl talk, John. Uh, hey, right up my alley. Right up your alley at Avery, and uh, always love to talk to Delta waterfowl people. And so they're having a, a deal going on right now on their website where you can vote for Volunteer of the Year. And we have with us not only the regional director for Delta Waterfowl, but we've got one of the finalists. And they're right in the uh, in the metro area of Memphis, the Mid-South, out of Alcorn County, Mississippi, is Franz Snobble. Is that right, Franz? Yes, that's correct. Good deal. I'm, a, I'm, I'm proud of that. And also we've got on the man who uh, is pulling all the plugs here in this area, and that's Cooper Huff. Good morning, Cooper. Yes, sir. Thank you all very much. All right, and Cooper is the Delta Waterfowl Regional Events Director with primarily, uh, I think, Mississippi, Alabama, and the Florida Panhandle. Is that right, Cooper? Yes, sir, that is correct. And in France, I know your your chapter, I kind of looked it up there in Corinth and Alcorn County, started last year, really, basically, right? Yes, that is correct. We uh, we I've been the chapter chairman over here in Alcorn County, Mississippi, for about two years now. And and now to be one of the finalists for Volunteer of the Year, how does that how does that uh, feel for you? Well, I'm going to tell you, it's just a, 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 the whole Delta experience since I've got in has just been humbling, and to be to be honored and and, and you know be nominated for this is just uh, just a huge huge humbling experience for me. I, I greatly appreciate it. And Cooper, tell us a little bit about how, how this works. Yeah, um, you know, Delta, we're we're basically a volunteer run organization to an extent, and um, with guys like Franz and others that step up to the plate and want to start a local chapter and get things going, um, we couldn't do it without these guys. And um, basically, we just know we got to honor these guys and the hard work and the commitment and everything that they put into it. So. What we do is all the RDs get together every year, and um, we kind of nominate who was our 
top outstanding guy in our region each year. And uh, Franz was the guy from the Mississippi, Alabama region. We've gotten multiple guys from, you know, different regions throughout the, uh, the country that are all doing unbelievable jobs for us. So we're just lucky to be able to do this. And it's just a thank you to these guys that put so much time and energy and hard work into uh, a volunteering mission to help us succeed in what we're trying to do to produce more ducks. And I know that Franz, uh, one of, uh, and I think Cooper, uh, uh, 3,800 volunteers. That's, we do, uh, and, uh, you know, I, we're gaining yeah. more every day. And, and, and how many chapters do you, does Delta have now? We've got over 200 chapters wow. uh, okay. in the country. You know, we may have a little bit more than that. We're getting new and started every day, so um, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to keep up with it because it's a fast-changing cycle. And, and Franz, tell us a little bit about your love for waterfowl and, uh, and, and how you got involved in starting this chapter. Well, uh, I've been pretty much an avid outdoorsman uh, from a very young age. I guess I started uh, waterfowl hunting when, uh, at the age of probably nine or ten. Uh-huh. Uh, in just a little, little area outside Corinth, Mississippi, over here in the Tuscumbia River bottom. And uh, anyway, I, I shot my first duck when I was about nine, and then, uh, it's been downhill ever since. Oh, now, 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 John Gordon from Avery shaking his head over there because uh, you like to hear stuff like this, don't you? Oh, sure, sure, and I can very much relate because I was the same age when I started, and now I'm going into my fourth decade of, of waterfowling, and uh, it's just it's fantastic. It gets into your bloodstream uh, so much, and you just it's hard to explain. Well, I know uh, Frank Barton has no problem explaining his because it's all about relationships. The it, it, the dog work, and absolutely, yeah, and and our our guy here, Frank uh, Frank uh, Barton, tell us when did you shoot your first duck, Frank? You know, you've asked me that before, and, and I'm and, getting the sa- different yeah, answers, and, and and I really don't remember, but I think, yeah, it was in Lansing Bottoms. It had to be, yeah, uh, with uh, Henry Reynolds in attendance. That's what I thought. Yeah, well, now you it got, was close to that time. Now you got me. So you've taken me uh, un- under your wing, so to speak, and everything. We won't go any we, past that. No, no. But Franz, I maybe know, we maybe we need to go live on our next. We are Facebook going we're, live. We're Facebook gonna, live on our next duck hunt. Yeah, we're going live. On the, okay, uh, we're going live. But uh, I, I know Cooper. These guys do so much as a volunteer, and I was kind of looking over uh, uh, Franz's uh, uh, little short bio here about being in the jewelry business for fifteen years. Uh, and I like what you said. When he wasn't glassing diamonds, he was a Boy Scout scoutmaster for almost a decade. So, uh, Franz, uh, I, I guess getting people involved in the sport is one of your uh, passions too, right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, I was a local scoutmaster here in Corinth for, for several, several years. And uh, um, I was an Eagle Scout uh, as a youth. And, uh, of course, as my son got older and got into the program, Ago. Oh right! And great. I had uh, a great opportunity to uh, to have uh, some young guys, uh, you know, make eagle under my my leadership, and uh, you know, it, it, you know, uh, Boy Scouts and kind of outdoors kind of goes hand in hand. Yes, it does. Yeah. Uh, anyway, after I kind of retired my tenure as scoutmaster, uh, Cooper and I uh, met through a mutual friend, uh, and uh, he says, "Man, you really ought to." think about uh, setting a chapter up over in Hornet. And I said, well, you know, I'll tell you what, I'll get a couple guys together and we'll, we'll sit down and meet with you and uh, give us a presentation. I can't promise anything. But uh, after about 30 minutes, uh, we were we were all on board, all excited. And next thing you know, we've got a, got a Delta chapter started in Corinth, and uh, it has really, really grown in the past two years. And that, uh, I know because your last uh, banquet, you had – Pretty good crowd. Yeah, we did. We had uh, uh, a little over 350 in the season. <laughs> uh, we had That's amazing. The, uh, Crossroads Arena, yeah, uh, which is located here in Corinth. Uh, it was uh, there on the arena floor, and uh, it was a, a really good, really good turnout. Uh, raised a lot of money for ducks. Uh, I think everybody had an excellent time, uh, and uh, it's just keep, you know it just keeps growing and growing every year. Basically, I grew our first venue, uh, and we had to actually move it the, the second year. So uh, 
I'm hoping that's going to continue to be the be a, a good problem to have. Well, it's not easy being the old chairman. I don't know if that's a lifelong position that they vote on or uh, you're stuck with it. But uh, well, uh, you know, I've enjoyed it, and uh, you know, I you know, it takes a, a great committee uh, to really get things going, and I have I've just been blessed with really really good uh, committee members that will just anything I need them to do, they 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 will go beyond uh, above and beyond to, to make it happen. So what 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 do you do for a living now? I mean, uh, I am in the uh, uh, liquor business over in Corinth on a retail package. Okay, in Corinth, but uh, you were born in Corinth, is that right? Uh, yes, I uh, lived here all my all my life. Uh, I was actually a uh, military military brat, but I, I was born in Germany. Okay, but, all right. Uh, my family uh, is from Alcorn County, and uh, this is where I where I ended up. No, well, I could tell by your name that's not one that you you're not uh, you know that's that's not the name that you think in Alcorn County. So I knew you had to sure. be from a military family. And you and, and and to think about this and being ducks, did, did you ever in your wildest dreams think that you'd be doing what you're doing now with ducks? Uh, not really. Uh, I just you know I, I knew I always had a, a passion for conservation. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And you know wanted to you know get younger people involved in conservation because if if we don't get the younger generation there you go. involved, we won't have conservation later on. Well, I know. So uh, that was you know one of the main point that I uh, saw with the Delta was uh, how involved they wanted to get uh, kids on their first duck hunt or any hunt for that matter. Uh, it's all about, uh, you know, the youth. Well, I know that uh, Cooper kind of tell us now, I know the voting goes through July 31st, and you got some good competition there. I see some folks from all over the United States and one in Canada. But Cooper, tell us uh, how they can go. Of course, we're all partial here. I'm not going to go vote for somebody in Waterloo, Iowa, or wherever it might be. But uh, this, do you have to be a Delta member? Tell the listeners about how you vote. No, you don't have to be a Delta member. You can go on to um, our website at deltawaterfowl.org. And uh, one of the the tickers going across the top of the screen uh, will have a picture of all the volunteers. And you can click on it and follow through the links to vote that way. Um, You can go through Facebook. Um, and find us on Facebook, and it'll it'll send you back to our website where you can vote on it through that. And he also there's there's a prize here. There's a little prize. It social media that we're on as well that you can click through it through. But the best thing to do would be to go to deltawaterfowl.org and look at the ticker going across the top of the screen. But there is a prize here too, right? There is a prize. The winner of this gets a boat. Uh, yeah. There definitely is is something to uh, keep pushing for. It one of the volunteers and one of the finalists. Well, I'm sure that Franz probably doesn't need a boat. So, he, he, you know, I mean, uh, how'd, you, how'd you like to win a boat, Franz? Well, that'd be okay with me. <laughs> <laughs> be, a, be a nice little perk. It would be. Guys, thank you for being on Outdoors with Larry Ray. And, uh, Cooper, we'll kind of stay in touch. And uh, Paul will keep us in touch. And, Franz, uh, go out there, folks. And uh, we're going to post this on my website, lroutdoors.com. And let's... Uh, Let's get behind somebody from Alcorn County, Mississippi, okay? All right. Thank you, guys. That's great. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. Uh, we'll talk to you maybe next month and see how things went. We're pulling for you, okay, Franz? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, guys. All right. Let's take a break, come back and wrap it up with uh, Around the Horn, the Outdoor Horn, with Frank, John, Larry, and we might even let uh, Stuart full of, fill us in on how much this morning has meant to him in his career. Okay, be right back on ESPN 790. You can find out all about it all. Outdoors with Larry.